to the State of Real Estate week ending May 30th. The good news today is that summer is here, the weather is getting warmer, and so is the home buying season. In fact, it seems like the home buying season is heating up much faster than the weather right now. The typical real estate seasons have definitely been shuffled pretty hard this year. Back in January and February, the real estate market was more like spring than the winter, and spring was more like winter because of the pandemic created slowdown. Now, with the advent of summer and relaxation of lockdown restrictions, the economy is opening up with the real estate sector seemingly leading the rebound. Recovery in the housing industry has kicked off post pandemic with a surprisingly strong upturn, and we hope it can provide the required boost to the economy with a contribution of almost 20% to our GDP. Real estate could be the essential rock required to rebuild the economic foundation. As consumers courageously return back to the market, resuming their real estate transactions, me and my team at Remax One have been very busy adapting ourselves and our processes to accommodate the post-pandemic environment with an emphasis on safety protocols. In our local areas, we're experiencing very high levels of consumer confidence and optimism, the extent of which is probably not even being measured accurately yet. We will not see any true numbers come out for at least another couple of weeks, but I assure you that in our area, they are going to surpass expert forecasts for sure. It seems that consumers are relying more and more on their individual needs and requirements as long as they are gainfully employed instead of letting the bigger picture of the economy dictate their choices right now. Real estate continues to be a less volatile and safer asset maintaining its attractiveness to occupants and investors alike. Proof of this also lies in the fact that we are receiving multiple offers on many of our listings right now, almost like nothing happened in the last two months. The main drivers have been the inventory that tightened further because of the pandemic and the extremely low interest rates. Taking a pulse on the weekly real estate temperature, a Zillow report last week reiterates what we are experiencing on the field here in New Jersey. Namely, the consumer confidence is picking up. Even though most major economic sectors are still declining, there are some like real estate that are stabilizing and starting their journey towards recovery. Zillow's expectations for the next six months remain pretty steady. Buyers are trying to capitalize on the record low interest rates, proof of which lies in the strong growth in purchase mortgage applications. Purchase applications have been rising about 10% annually before the pandemic hit us, and they were down more than 35% year over year at the peak of the crisis in mid-April. Now, for the first time in more than two months, mortgage applications for home purchases were up year over year, rising an incredible 8.7%. Mortgage applications also went up 9% week over week, and this was the sixth straight week of gains representing a 54% recovery since early April. Not only that, larger mortgages are being taken because of the leverage being offered by the low interest rates. The average loan size was about 340,000 in the week ending May 22nd. That was up from a low of 315,000 this year in the week ending April 3rd. Clearly, lower mortgage interest rates are driving up affordability. We are still facing an acute shortage while the pent up demand from the last two months has been unleashed and growing at a very aggressive pace. All these factors are contributing to higher prices this summer, in spite of serious economic turbulence caused by coronavirus. We cannot predict how long prices will continue to rise or stay where they are because a lot will be dictated by any potential re-emergence of the coronavirus later this year. However, we do not see any indicators of buyer demand decreasing in our neck of the woods. And this, coupled with low interest rates, may be enough to provide the required stability to the housing industry in New Jersey. On the field in New Jersey, we are seeing a massive increase in the number of first-time buyers in the market, most of them being millennials. According to National Association of Home Builders, New construction homes also demonstrated a surprising rebound by rising 1.4% from January to April 2020 than the first four months of 2019. They were initially forecasted to decline 22% because of the pandemic. As far as pricing is concerned, we're not seeing any deals or steals in the market yet. 
home prices were increasing about 4.4% annually before the pandemic hit us. And according to the Federal Housing Finance Agency, house price index, house prices rose 5.7% from the first quarter of 2019 to the first quarter of 2020. According to the latest NJR statistics, the median home sales price went up by 14.4% in April this year compared to previous year. I would like to share some important pre-pandemic statistics with you so we can better understand the logic behind the strength of the real estate sector right now. House prices have risen for 35 consecutive quarters since September 2011. They rose in 48 states and the District of Columbia between the first quarters of 2019 and 2020. In addition, they rose in all top 100 of the largest metropolitan areas in the U.S. over the last four quarters. In spite of a struggling economy and the highest unemployment since the Great Depression, median homeless prices went up 3.1% year over year last week, which was double the increase from the previous week. According to Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist at the National Association of Realtors, number of home sales are expected to decline by 11% this year, with the median home price projected to increase by 4%. Financially secure buyers who want to take advantage of the low mortgage rates do not have enough properties to choose from. Therefore, they're willing to pay more for what they like and is available for sale. As far as in-person showing activity is concerned, According to the showing time platform that is used by majority of New Jersey Realtors, last week's showings were 9.6% below this year's peak that occurred just before the pandemic lockdown began in mid-March. But guess what? Showings are shockingly higher than the same time last year by 9.1%. This is by far the most surprising number we have come across in recent times because of the social distancing guidelines that are still in place. Not only that, we realtors have been trying to limit in-person showings only to buyers who watch online videos first, produce a mortgage pre-approval for us, and sign hold harmless agreements before scheduling in-person showings. So it remains to be seen how high this number might have been if there were no showing restrictions in place. In summary, the real estate industry is demonstrating tremendous resilience. The speed at which real estate is recovering is very encouraging, but we need to exercise caution while we remain optimistic and continue on personal paths of home ownership. Pretty much every client we're working with these days has altered their preferences because of the impact of the last two months with changed emphasis on space, location, safety, and even cleanliness. Hope you find this podcast, The State of Real Estate, useful and relevant in assisting you with your real estate decisions. We take immense pride in being able to spread awareness and educate you about one of the biggest financial investments in your lives. At the end, please remember all real estate is local. If you would like more in-depth information about what's happening in your area, please feel free to reach out to us. We can be reached at 732-438-0001 or you can send me a message from my website, askcharon.com. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and I'll be back next week.